Spencer Lewis post race at the uh, inaugural uh, 2014 season opener for the Oscar Modified Tour. I'm with the Bonhead Bandit, Brandon Bullen. Seventh place finish here tonight. Brandon, I, I'm sure you probably lost count how many times you got had to grab a handful of wheel of this sexy seven machine. It, it was it was anarchy for a couple of laps out there. Yeah, it was. It was kind of tense out there. A couple laps, the guys were just dicing around out there, and we got into a little bit of it and got her back in out there. Now, when you have an event like this, where you got guys that are that are everywhere, where there is a complete lack of strategy, so to speak, how reliant are, are you on your spotter to help you get through some of the dicey situations? I was relying on them 100%, especially going through a couple of those big racks out there. It was, yeah. Now I know you guys just loaded the car on the trail. You haven't really had a time to, to, to look the car over and and see what the da I mean, you were in a couple of uh, a little melees out there. What was the damage that you can see to the 67 car? It's uh, mostly the left front doors caved in and uh, maybe the toes knocked out just a little. So as long as it's strictly cosmetic and, and you can fix the toe, no problem. I mean, we got some cars that need the, the help of the tow truck just to get it on the trailer here tonight. So you come out of a race like that with a seventh place finish, that's exactly where your program needs to be to start the season. Do you agree? Yes, it does. So, I mean, you got a lot of confidence now, I'm assuming. You're going to Quartha. Quartha, you got a lot of room to move out there. I mean, oh, yeah. it's not going to be, you're not racing on top of guys like here at Sunset. You got the big sweeper corners, long straightaways. What's going to be the strategy for round number two? I guess just try and stay out of trouble and work our way back up through the field. Now, you sort of came alive late in the 2013 season and really seemed comfortable uh, with this race car. Did you feel at home behind the wheel of it tonight? Once we got the problems out of it in practice and the first heat there, it came to life. Now, what was the issues through the first round of qualifying? A uh, major push. It was pushing like a dump truck. Did, uh, did, uh, did Papa Phil just have to take a, a big swing at it, or what was the strategy? Put four new tires on, took a couple spring rubbers out, and that seemed to help. Well, that that's... That, that'll wake any car up. You put the four Johnny Feelgoods on it, and it'll, it'll, it'll put you right to the front. So it was good to see the 67 run close to the front. Probably had a top five car here tonight. Couple of uh, couple of messes, couple of wrecks, but it's good to see you load the car on the on the trailer under its own power. Get back at it at Quartha for June 1st. Go ahead and thank the folks who make this possible for I you. thank my dad, my brother, my mom, uh, Nightworks Designs, Dale Farron and son of, from Snowball, Little for spotting tonight and Junior. And yeah. All right. Well, I mean, tell me all about uh, the social media because I know you're on Twitter now. Tell no. me about. Uh, tell me where can we find you on social media? On Twitter at Bullen Racing, and then on Facebook at Bullen Racing. <laughs> Sounds good, buddy. All right. We'll see you in round number two of the tour, and uh, we'll check back in with you. Quarter. All the best in 2014. Thank you. There you go, folks. The Bond Head Bandit, Brandon. Bond